The first thing I really need to do is kind of scale back your expectation of what it means to be a YouTuber. I think it's really easy to watch videos and you think, oh, well, all they do is make one video a week and then they sit on their couch and they watch Netflix or they go out to eat. They make their favorite matcha or they go to a coffee shop and they're not in quarantine. But in reality, guys, <sighs> being a YouTuber, it's a lot of work. And even just creating one YouTube video a week, I create two YouTube videos a week. It takes me days. It takes me days. It takes me days. It takes me days. To make one video. This video alone, I know that I'm going to be filming for several days to get all the shots that I want to get. And I'm guessing mm -hmm. editing. It's going to take me two, maybe three days. Yep. I'm on day three. So if you think that just creating a YouTube video a week is easy, it's not a lot of work, that's just not the case. And also there's so, so much more that goes into being a YouTuber besides just creating videos. When you start a YouTube channel, you're actually starting a business. And with any business comes things like accounting. I have to pay my taxes quarterly and marketing. Things you probably wouldn't even think about if you just want to be a content <laughs> creator. You probably want to spend all of your time creating your YouTube videos. But if you are a one man show, you are the only person that is able to work on your channel and you do not have any help at all, you're actually going to be spending a lot of your time doing things that you probably <laughs> didn't even think go into having a YouTube channel. So before you really dive into this, I just want to be honest and say that this is a lot of work. And if you do not think that you can dedicate the time that you need to have a successful YouTube channel, then maybe this not isn't yet. right for you. But if you not are determined yet. to be a successful YouTuber, you know that you could have not a successful yet. channel and you honestly just love creating videos, you love creating content, then by all means dive all in because I love my job. I honestly do. This is a freaking dream come true. Now you may be feeling fired up and ready to just go on YouTube and create your channel, but the very first thing I... No, no, it's not ready. It's not ready yet. No, 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 it's not ready yet. This was just part of an experiment. Put some pictures up online, got some good feedback, and decided there was something in it. I'm Robin Grasby, founder of Alt Rock. We make bespoke custom terrazzo in London, UK. What really makes it something real is the brand. At the start of it, the website is the brand. So finding a platform like Squarespace to produce something very professional is really important. Do you make your own handmade goods? Well, so do I. I sell mine online using Shopify. Let me show you how I do it. First, go to shopify.com and sign up for a 90-day free trial. I'm always creating new things, so being able to add them to my store easily and quickly is a must. With Shopify's mobile app, I add a photo, give it a name, description, set a price, and boom, you can buy it. So who wants a new bull? I'm not a designer or a developer, but with a few simple clicks, I'm able to create a beautiful online store. Shopify has over 70 premium templates that I can customize to fit my brand. I chose this free theme because it lets me showcase the latest collection right on the homepage. Whoa, this website is awesome and it looks great on mobile too. It's time to get my products in front of potential customers. With Shopify, it's super easy to sell your products on social media and marketplaces. I'll start with Instagram. Just upload a photo, tag my product, and post it. Now anyone can purchase from my online store without ever leaving Instagram. And my customers pay how they want through secure checkout from leading global and local payment providers. Sweet, I just got a sale. Managing and shipping orders to customers is easy too. Shopify allows me to save up to 90% in pre-negotiated shipping rates with all major carriers. I can also <laughs> buy and print my shipping labels right within the Shopify admin. How convenient. Just print it, stick it, and ship it. Head over to Shopify.com and sign up for your 90-day free trial today. I don't put it up, Mo. It's a good stuff. Thing I actually want you to do is figure out what you want to create videos on. It's not enough to say, okay, I want to be a really successful YouTuber. You really need to figure out what you are actually going to share on your channel. And when you watch other videos talking about how to grow on YouTube, this is going to be your niche. So this is your main category of your videos. And if you take a look at my channel right now, my main niche is YouTube tips. I'm sharing all the information about how to grow on YouTube, how to make money on YouTube, how to get more subscribers, all of that stuff you can find on my channel. So my niche is really YouTube tips. But let's say you want to be a lifestyle 
lifestyle YouTuber and you want to share all things about your life, you want to do vlogs, you want to do more so like lifestyle tips, like how to live a healthy lifestyle, something like that, your main niche would be lifestyle, but you can create a ton, a ton of videos under that niche. So the first thing you really need to do is figure out what do you even want to create videos on? What interests you right now and what value do you think that you could provide to the world? And yes, I did say value, guys. It's so easy to look at my channel and say, okay, she's providing value because she's educating other people. But if you are in that lifestyle niche, or let's say you're even in the gaming niche, you may more so be entertaining people or keeping people busy, or if you are sharing those healthy habits, you may be actually transforming someone's life. And whether you know it or not, even if you're just making someone laugh, you are providing a value to someone else. So you need to think about what can I share within my YouTube videos? What's the main niche of the videos that I'm going to share on my channel? And that's really going to be the foundation on how you are going to build your channel up from there. Then comes the name of your channel. Yes, before you even get started on YouTube, don't create your account yet. You want to actually figure out what the name of your channel is going to be. So I'm going to tell you guys a little story, something that I've never shared on my channel before. But right now, my channel name is The Content Bug. And I actually created my brand back in October of 2016 when I was ashamed and embarrassed that I wanted to create a brand for myself, that I wanted to be an influencer. So I didn't want to use my own name. And I knew that I was going to be sharing tips on how to create content. I already had experience with that working in the digital marketing industry. If you guys don't want to hear my whole life story, but I knew that I wanted to have content in my name because it's good for your SEO. And then I was sitting on the couch with my dog and I call her Bug. It's one of her nicknames. So I came up with the content bug. Looking back now, I really wish that I would have been strong enough and I would have just chosen my own name as my channel name, as my brand name, and that's the direction that I'm going to move in the future. But if you are not sure what you want to name your channel, and let's say you don't think it would be right to name it after yourself, there are a lot of situations where I would just have your channel name be your own name. Like if you are a lifestyle channel, have it be your own name, whether it's your first and your middle name or your first and your last name, I would really, really recommend that because your brand is you. But let's say that you have, ooh, my favorite example, DIY channel. If you guys follow Lord DIY or Generation DIY, who are very, very clever with incorporating their main keyword DIY, that's their niche for their channel, who are very, very smart of incorporating that within their name because it is good for search. So I already mentioned SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. And in case you guys didn't know, or if you don't look at YouTube this way, YouTube is a search engine. People go on there to search for videos and you may not do it all that much if you already have creators that you absolutely love on the platform, but people are searching on YouTube. And if you want your channel, be found, I would definitely recommend having one of your main keywords in your name if you can. Now, if it makes more sense to have your name be your own name, like your channel name be your name, do it. I highly recommend it. That's something that you obviously won't get sick of because it's your name. It's going to stick with you forever compared to me going with the content bug. I now don't like it. I don't think that it fits my brand anymore. And in the future, I'm probably going to be changing it to Catherine Manning. Now, if you know nothing about YouTube, let's just do a quick little crash course. I feel like I've gone forever showing you guys how to use the Creator Studio, actually upload a YouTube video, all the tips and tricks that go into that. But I do have several other videos on my channel that dive into those things, especially the analytics. You guys are interested in learning more about that. So I will include those in the description bar down below. And for now, I just want to show you how YouTube works and the bare minimum that you need to know to create a YouTube channel. So right here, we are on youtube.com. Obviously, you guys have been here before because you're currently watching this YouTube video. If you want to get to your channel over here on the right hand side, you're going to click on your little photo that pops up right here. Click on your channel and this will take you to obviously your channel. Now, you probably aren't going to have videos on it yet, so it's not going to look anything like this. But what you can do to get your channel set up First and foremost is if you hover over this picture right here, you can add a profile picture. I wouldn't recommend changing this too much, but you definitely want to make sure that you have a good photo that you like and that can stick with you for a while. Same thing up here, your header image. I do definitely have some tips when it comes to designing header images, but maybe that can be another video for you guys. If you click on this little icon right here, you can upload your header image and make it nice and branded and all that cool stuff. Now you may be wondering how these appear right here, these little icons and stuff. If you actually go to your about section, you want to add some information about you. So in your description, you want to add your email address, your location, and your links so right here are the ones that actually appear in the top here. So now that we have your profile covered, the next area that you really need to know is the YouTube Creator Studio. So you can click on this YouTube Studio button right here, but I'm going to go up here again because you can get access to this at any point within the YouTube platform, youtube.com. Go down here, click on YouTube Studio, and this is where you're going to get access to some stats, so how your last video performed, how your channel is looking right now, and you're also going to get access to all 
of these other features over here on the left hand side. But what I want to show you guys is how you can upload a YouTube video to your channel. So up here at the top you will see this icon if you click on create. Click on upload a YouTube video and then you just drag and drop or you find a file on your computer and that's how you do it. It's seriously so so simple. And I say so, so simple, but in reality, when it comes to YouTube videos, this one I have scheduled right now, there's a lot more information that goes into it. So you need to add a title, you need to add the description. If we scroll down a little bit, there's that thumbnail. You need to select if your video is made for kids. If it's not made for kids, it's where you add your tags. And there is a decent amount that goes into uploading a YouTube video. But just for the well, basics, click on create, upload a video, drag your file, and you are good to go. Now, like I already said, it's not like you're going to create your channel. It's just going to be amazingly successful from the start. I cannot promise you guys that honestly it's going to take you a couple of months even just to figure out your filming style your editing style and what type of content you want to upload on your youtube channel but once you have all of that figured out i would really recommend that you guys take a look at some other videos on youtube especially on my channel if you guys want to subscribe but i do have a lot of videos talking about the algorithm how you can niche down use that to your advantage <laughs> and seo like i already said youtube is a search engine so if you can learn really how to use that to grow your channel to get more views to get more subscribers it's going to help you to grow a lot quicker than I did when I was getting started. The uh, two main questions that I want you guys to ask yourselves right now is what do I already have that can help me to become a successful YouTuber and what do I need to just start my YouTube channel? So let's say you do not have anything to film videos on. If you don't have a fancy camera, guys, you can get started with your phone. These days, phones have really, really great cameras and you can make it pretty far just off of your phone until you saved up enough money to get a camera. Now, even when you do get a camera, you do not need the fanciest camera out there. The one that I am filming on right now, I think I paid $650 for, so it's still a decent price but it's not like you need a camera that's worth a couple thousand dollars you know so you can actually create edit and upload a whole youtube video on your phone i do have another video on that which i will include right here for you guys but if you have a laptop or a computer that's something that you already have that you do not need to buy in the future let's say you don't have fancy lights you don't honestly even need fancy lights. You've got window lighting that is perfect to get started with your channel. Let's say you want to start a car YouTube channel and you're like, I don't have access to cars. What cars do you already have in your garage? What cars do your family members have that you can actually use? Like ask them to use before you create a YouTube video on it. But there are things that you already have, resources that you already have that you do not need to go out and seek at this moment. But of course there are going to be resources that you are going to need to get. So make sure you write a list of the things that you have right now, the things that you can utilize and what things you're going to need in the future. From there, I really want you to nail down what is going to be your uploading schedule. So how many videos are you going to upload a week? I would recommend either doing one or two when you are first getting started. Do not try to upload five days a week. You are going to lose your mind. Get started with one or two videos a week. Pick the days that you are going to upload and stick to that schedule. Make it a non-negotiable. No matter what, you have to get those YouTube videos up on your channel. Consistency is going to help you to grow a lot quicker on YouTube. The algorithm is going to realize it and they're going to know what days especially with time to push out your videos so try to be as consistent as possible as well as it creates a good routine for your audience once you have that done i would backtrack a little bit and figure out okay when do i need to film this video so i have enough time to film it as well as edit it for me guys my videos i film them the monday eight days before they're supposed to live that way i have enough time to film the whole youtube video also get extra clips that i want to include within the youtube video the week before it goes live and save enough time to edit it schedule it so it goes live Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, every single time, no matter what. Figure out your filming schedule, what's going to work for you, and put it in your calendar. If you have kids, you need to get a babysitter or something to make it happen, make it happen because this is important to you. Now, sadly, I erased the things that were on my whiteboard, but a few videos back, I did share my action plan of how I was going to create a multi-million dollar business for myself, some ideas on how I was going to get there and the road back to getting there. So I definitely recommend you guys check out that video. I'll actually include it right here for you, but that's exactly what I want you guys to do. What are your goals for the first year of your YouTube channel and what little steps do you have to take in order to get there? Now, I would not recommend you guys saying that you want to have 200,000 subscribers your first year on YouTube. YouTube. Yes, it is possible, but I don't think that it's realistic. And if you're not seeing results from the very beginning and you think, oh, I'm not going to hit my 200,000 subscribers that I originally dreamed of, you're probably going to actually drop off. So I want you guys to set realistic goals for yourself and figure out what you have to do to get there. And it's not enough to just say, okay, I'm going to create one YouTube video a week. That's all I need to do. Growth will happen. No, you need to educate yourself. Honestly, guys, there's so much that goes into YouTube. The algorithm, it's complicated. There are a lot of factors that what videos 